Hey everybody, I am the Great and Powerful Cheese Fry, and welcome back to Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. If it sounds like I cut out in the middle of the last episode, uh, about eight minutes away from the end, that's because I did. My microphone got disconnected somehow, and um, it was right as I was going into into the machine. So what we're gonna do is uh, start over. Yeah, I have that one extra life and the first few clues in a bottle for that level, but, uh, you know, it's basically the same thing. So, just like with Crash Team Racing, you can't enter the level without doing something special. You always have to dive in. So, here we go. It's kind of weird because this game has a lot of audio cues, and uh, I have my, my uh, TV down so that you don't pick up on that sound. But at the same- ooh, I forgot this one. Wow, I'm glad I came back through here. I forgot that clue. Can I reach it? Can I reach it? I can't reach it. There he goes. Okay. Get away from me. Wait, but uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. My mic cut out. So, I got the first few things but it doesn't hurt to go back and uh, see the first stages of a level. Uh, I think what I was talking about here was how uh, during subsequent playthroughs of the Sly games especially, I like to see how fast I can get these done without doing the uh, Thief Trial. And, uh, oh, that's right, I already have that one. And uh, getting all the, the clues in a bottle in one run. Now, I kind of cheated this time around because because I've already gotten the first few from basically the first half of the level. But, but yeah, let's, gonna, let's go ahead and get this extra life good. Uh, I keep forgetting that I don't have the, the uh, aerial dive bomb thing. That's you know, something I almost always do. Okay, so this is where we cut out last time, give or take. So, we got our signal repeater going, but I'm not going to need it. I've done rally stages so often that uh, this is basically my stage 21, my green hill zone. run this as best as I can, even though this level in particular, or this portion in particular, was not really made to be speed run, you know, speed ramp, whatever the, the phrase is, but you know, details, right? Don't want to set off the lasers. Because bad things happen when you set off the lasers. Oh, I lucked out there. Oh, I didn't have to jump over them. Man, that was close. Now, I normally go through all of Raleigh's stages without getting touched even once, except for his vehicle stage, which he has, I think, yeah, he doesn't have a race. He's got a defense uh, stage. Ooh, did I already get the 100 and get the extra life? What was that? Oh, that was close. I think this is the final piece of this stage, and it's like... I remember getting lost here the first time I played it, until I had to I could not find where I was supposed to go. Those single repeaters have a really, really long range. <clears throat> and, uh, I'm sorry for being kind of quiet. Everyone else in my house is asleep. 24 30. So yeah, this is the end of the stage. It's just my TV that cut out for a second. That bag. Oh, it is so lucky that I did not need it. Well, no wonder why I kept getting lost. I didn't know that pipe was there. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely the end of the stage. There's the safe. So let's 
Let's uh, ruin this guy's day. Get a couple from there. I think the other two are over here. Uh, so yeah, the entire point of it was basically my goal is to... Yeah, see, there they are. So we're gonna listen to Bentley this time. He actually is helpful. I can't believe in this I pieced this one together. Try two, two, seven. Ah, that. Oh man. Okay, so two, two, seven. I wonder how they came up with all these codes. Like, is this like someone's phone number, or like the phone numbers of every of every development team just Old lined Sally together? Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Stories claim she can move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle yeah, button yeah, yeah. to use this move. Can I, Switch I can't between your power-ups using L2 and R2. Okay, cool, yay. I have the roll now. Because, you know, necessary. I'm just gonna let you guys know, I very, very rarely use the roll. Uh, I say as I immediately start rolling across this because it's just faster. It's it's sort of like controlling Legend of Spyro Burning Spyro uh, with his uh, with his charge. You just can't do it. You, you know, if you're trying to navigate, could it's not gonna happen. But yeah. All right, here we are. So we wrecked Raleigh's day. Yep. Okay, so yeah, see, everything in this game is like just really slow compared to the rest of them. As you can see, we're already at 6%. Very nice. So. Okay, so we're back to the hub world. We got two keys now, and we're just gonna have to go and get the third one. I can't believe I, I got hit like that, but Raleigh's place is always a good place to get a free lucky charm. Oh, camera, 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 thank you. Because there's always going to be one here in the debris. Son of a... Mm -hmm. Of course it puts me on that wing instead of the closest piece of land. Ah... <sighs> Yeah? Yeah, I deserved that one. Alright, so I'm going into the next one with only one hit point. Oh no, what will I do? Because you know, I'm a master fucking thief. I totally can't hold my own. Oh yeah, I forgot that you can always farm for free lives here too. Now, I have to admit, uh, probably- oh, wait, hold on. Remember, how do you get to that one? Oh yeah, over here. Yeah, not gonna lie, I think that was the first time I ever used the easy way to get there. I normally jump from the other ledge. But yeah, I think High Class Heist is one of my favorite levels. Um, 
Oh, well, that wasn't the dive. I keep forgetting that I don't have the dive roll. Or, uh, but anyway, high class heist I think is one of my favorite levels, just because it's great for farming points. Look at all this stuff. Must be worth millions. And you know what that means? Tighter security. You're gonna have to be extra sneaky to get the treasure key uh, here. And the puzzles. The puzzles in this level are just really great. Too. Like, not quite really the door puzzles, but the final puzzle. It's just, it's mucho bueno. Okay, um, I guess it's art. I just call it meat more. <laughs> uh, and if any of you guys get that reference. Oh god. Okay, so, yeah. Now they can kill me. Yay. Alright. Anyway, if anyone gets the Meat Morp reference, you are now my favorite person. Because, you know, Steven Universe. Mm, oh, mm, now that's art. Rebecca Sugar done good by us, guys. There we go. But, yeah. It just, oh. I, I'm... Oh god. Oh god, I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Oh, man. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, so I gotta start on this corner and just dash to the other corner. But yet, yeah, um, Rebecca Sugar did good by us. setting off all the alarms this time around. I don't normally do that. Shut up. Shut up. Thank you for the signal. Oh, wait, hold on. No, 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 no. I don't want to break that yet. That was the thing that I kept doing, and I could never get to these because I kept breaking those. Or was it the ones on this side because... I think it was the one on this side because I could never get to the top of Raleigh's hat. There's just really no way to. Unless that's the one that I can reach from this side. I don't remember how I got to the other side of that one. But let's go ahead and farm these, get the rest of the clues here. I think this is the this is the level that you get the uh the blueprints on. Because uh well, I say that, but because they expect you to play it in a certain certain order. But um, if you don't, then everything is kind of still in a in a certain order. Where you'll get the uh, you'll get two pages of the Thievius Raccoonus, and then uh, oh yeah, it was that easy? How about it? You'll get like two pages of Thievius Raccoonus and then their blueprints so you can find all the breakables and then you get like an upgraded version of their blueprints that give you information on uh, the enemies or something like that. It's good for flavor. Oh boy. I hope that doesn't do that when I'm having a fight with these guys. Uh, it's good for flavor, not so good when it comes to uh, usefulness. I mean, I guess it'll tell you if there's an enemy close by. But it, why they were just doing that. Was that like a little... As you can see, it gets more dented the way they go down there. But, um... I wonder why those guys were doing that. Really? Really? So that's how we're gonna play this game. Alright. Cool. So... Can I get there from here? Because I didn't know there was a, a life there. Oh yeah! Ten lives, which means I can spawn that signal repeater ten more times, because this level is not easy. Yep, that was a cheap death. Whoa, how did I survive that? Huh. I almost want to take a header just so it makes it... Oh, 
Okay, wow. That was, uh... That was not enjoyable at all. Not in the slightest. At least I can go back and get the coins without worrying about death now. And if you're wondering if I actually do have to double jump, the uh, answer's no. Absolutely not, I don't. I can't remember, there's like spotlights too? Yeah, there are spotlights. Okay, so now, which is why there's another signal over here. It's easier to just kind of... Yeah. Alright, well, I thought this was going to be a perfect run, but I guess not. Funny how I'd be killed by a stage hazard and not an enemy. And this is why... Okay, okay. Thieving opportunity. Let's go around this. Because, you know... Did Bentley have something smart ass to say right there? Remember, Sly, hold down the yep. circle button near the blue stealth auras oh, to perform yes, super Bentley. sneaky I know. thief moves. I get it. I messed up. You don't have to berate me for it. Chill out, my dude. Oh. Oh yeah, and I one thing I do like though is that this game does have a sense of leniency. If you die like three times on the same spot and spawn. Oh, hey, it's right here. But of course, because I died, that's active again. So if I have to go back down there for any more clues that I missed. Oh, I shouldn't. I only need two more, and I know where they are. Well, I knew where one of them was. Where's the other? Is it around one of the ones that I didn't have to sneak around? Oh my god, where? I missed one. I don't normally do that. Where is it? Because I know I didn't leave it over here. Where's the other one? So as you can tell, this is the level where I normally miss something. And, uh, mess up the order in which you spawn, or, uh, in which the, uh, the, oh, fuck, okay, whoo, wow, that's a nice little glitch that I found, or exploit, whatever you want to call it, where you can double hop on a, uh, on the water, right before you die. I mean, it, it's, it's not really all that useful once you get one of the last pages that uh, basically teaches Sly how to swim. But, you know, that little exploit that I... It, it might not even be a, a good exploit, really. There it is. Um, it may not even be that good of it, or it may not even really be an exploit. Sly, you've got to find one more clue if you're going to open this vault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Bentley. I don't even know where the clue is. And I think this is the reason why the third in a stage is always going to be uh, the... Uh, <sighs> find my words. It's always going to be the, uh, the blueprints. Because they know, yeah, you, you want to try and get through here as, as quickly as possible. So, we're going to make it easier to find all of the things you can fill in the major BA. As long as possible. And that's why I'm not really a big fan of the roll technique. Because, yeah, it's kind of... It's kind of neat, but the way you have to use it, it's not good for going up. And that's where it is. Great. Alright, let's see if I can get up there. Alright, not from this side. Let's go over here. Let's 
this jump right here. That makes me thankful that Bentley in the third game has a freaking dark lock. Oh, that's why they took it away. But he has a crossbow. He has a crossbow in the second game and they still kept those. Please, just make this jump. Oh man, I'm at the... Hmm. Alright, for the sake of time and sanity, I'm going to pause the recording here. Alright guys, well, it would turn out that for the last however long, 10, 10 12 years, I've been making this way Oh, way too hard on myself. So you just jump up that head and you come around here and you get it from over that head. And ta freaking da, here's your last clue. So, yeah, I'm a stupid. Alright, what's the code this time, Benny? Oh yeah, because, you know, three numbers that have a spread of two, that's, or three, I'm sorry, that's just so hard to figure out, isn't it, Bentley? You and your genius intellect, you're, you couldn't figure out three numbers from just 29 clues. No, you needed all 30. See, yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier in the episode. Um, the third in every world is always going to be the blueprint. So. Unbreakable objects. objects. Yep. It's just a, basically a placeholder because we really don't need it. And of course, the calling card. And I, I really think I should make a calling card of my own. I think that would be kind of cool. And look at that. I, I berated the roll technique as I'm using it. But yeah, later on in the uh, in the game, you unlock the slow time technique, and that one is definitely one of my favorites because it just makes dodging those star throwers and basically anyone who throws projectiles and not shoots at you, oh, it makes dodging those just so much more satisfying because you start or you slow down the time, and it uh, it looks just really cool when you uh, dive out of the way of an oncoming star or bullet or anything boomerang you know just you name it and it's just really fun to get around it uh, with that slow time technique but it's I think you get it later on and I'm not entirely sure how much later on oh god I, I'm not a big fan of this um, so Bentley talks way too much and I you mean something good might happen if I get the wheel to spin fast enough isn't that what I just said so yeah um hmm we're just gonna make this the wheel spin fast enough this teaches us one of the things that we need to know for this next level which is the fire down below but first we're going to end this video on me taking the easy way to get this. And we're going to go ahead and get the life that's over here. Look at that. Right after I berated the uh, the roll technique. it I will admit, it's faster to use the roll going down a hill and downstairs than it is going uphill or over ledges. But, you know, give and take, right? Come on, let go. We're going to end on a nice view of the stormy water. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. All right, well, I wanted to use the Binocucom. But, uh, sure. Oh, it shows all the breakables, even in the overworld. That's okay, I guess. That's not exactly a glory shot, is it? Alright, well, we're ending the episode here anyway. 
Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you disliked it, hit the thumbs down. It hurts my feelings, but I need criticism. Uh, if you have anything more complex than yay or nay, please, by all means, put it in the comments down below. I read every single one of them. I may not respond, but I will read it. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, I have more Sly Cooper planned. I plan on playing a few more console games. And of course, watch out for an announcement uh, dealing with Undertale coming soon. Uh, if you want all of that, for, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the gear icon to get notified whenever I upload. I'm not like other gaming channels, I don't upload three or four times a day, so it's not going to destroy your phone. Thank you guys so much for watching, and 